Seminole County is joining the list of local governments that will no longer give tax breaks to developers who offer affordable housing. This decision essentially undermines what's called the Live Local Act. Florida lawmakers passed it as an incentive to boost the number of affordable housing options. But leaders in Seminole County say it's just not helping. News 6's Catherine Silver explains why. Let's turn and get on International Parkway. You don't have to search for new apartments in Central Florida. You can't miss them. This one's almost done. Here's another complex going in as growth keeps going up. And we know rent is going up too, which is why there is such a need to find more affordable options. Here in Seminole County, this complex is one of three that is already approved for tax exemptions. That's money the apartment owner can save if they designate a certain number of units as affordable. So why would a county want to opt out and not offer that incentive? This is not addressing affordable housing. Right. That still stands and we have lots of incentives and lots of things in our county to try to incentivize affordable housing. Right. This is not that. This week, county commissioners looked at the list of properties and the possible savings for apartment owners if they continued to offer tax exemptions under the Live Local Act. The tax dollars that are generated from those 3,800 units for your general fund is over $4 million a year. It's real money at, at some point. Is that $4 million the taxpayers would have to account for? That would be a shortfall of revenue coming in, which means if we don't collect the proper amount of revenue for the services we're providing, then we have to look at things like libraries, sidewalks that don't get done. Chairman Jay Zembauer says the law has good intentions, the problem is there's no guarantee that the savings the apartment owner sees will be passed on to the renter. We know affordable housing continues to be a top issue. Correct. We hear about it. You hear about it. Right. What is Seminole County doing? We, we've done a lot of things. We've got down payment assistance. We've tasked our staff to go identify every piece of property in the county that the county owns that could be used for affordable housing and then talk to people like Habitat for Humanity. We also have density bonuses in our land development code and we have impact fee waivers. And these are solutions that will get results for the renter or the common person. And, and already have, like all those tools make a big difference. In Seminole County, Catherine Silver, Getting Results, News 6. All right, so let's talk about what exactly is the Live Local Act. Well, the governor signed it into law just last year. It's designed to bring more affordable housing to Floridians. The law provides certain tax exemptions for lands used for affordable housing projects, and it prevents local governments from passing rent control measures as well. A housing project could be considered affordable and entitled to the incentive as long as it has an at least 10% of its units that meet the criteria that we're talking about. 